In the 1860s, Apostle Lorenzo Snow, Joseph F. Smith, William Clough, and others were sent to the Hawaiian Islands to oversee the affairs of the church there. Upon arrival, and attempting to go ashore in turbulent water, they left their steamer and boarded a small boat. Joseph F. Smith stayed behind, saying that the waters were too dangerous, which proved to be correct. As they crossed the offshore reef, huge waves capsized their boat. All of the men were safely rescued, except for Lorenzo Snow, whose unconscious body was found in the water, partially covered by the overturned boat. His companions brought him to shore and worked for nearly an hour to revive him. In the journal of William Clough, the alarming scene was described. After working him over for some time without any indication of returning life, the bystanders said that nothing more could be done for him. But we did not feel like giving him up and still prayed, with an assurance that the Lord would hear and answer our prayers. Finally, we were impressed to place our mouth over his and make an effort to inflate his lungs, alternately blowing in and drawing out the air, imitating as far as possible the natural process of breathing. We perceived very faint indications of returning life. These grew more and more distinct until consciousness was fully restored. His life having been remarkably preserved, Apostle Lorenzo Snow returned to Utah to continue his labors there. <laughs>